so now let me take one problem on the spring element so there are uh, three springs like spring 1 spring 2 and spring t okay uh, it will be connected in a series and let us say this is a stiffness element matrix like k1 okay k1 k2 and k3 something went wrong okay k1 k2 k3 and at the end it will be rigidly fixed okay so i will make hatching so this indicate that it is rigidly connected so there the generally displacement it will be zero okay now represent the nodes so here node 1 and i will write here node 2 and here node 3 and at the end node 4 so there are four nodes and three stiffness okay so the value of k1 k2 k3 will write so k1 it is k1 is equal to 100 newton per millimeter and for k2 we'll take 200 newton per millimeter and k3 will take 300 now again we'll take 100 newton per millimeter so k1 k2 k3 these are the stiffness and the load where the load is applying so the load will take at node 3 the load will be applied okay so here either like this will make and here the load is applied that is 500 newton okay so the generally this will be applied on the along the axis in a linear direction okay load will be applied so uh, for not to be in confusion i have made this line okay so 500 newton so we'll say p is 500 newton okay load at node 3 and uh, this is the problem you need to find the uh, displacements okay so all the procedure you have to follow like calculating the displacement and global stiffness matrix element stiffness matrix okay so everything you have to follow the steps of the film so first step is uh, uh, element stiffness matrix for the uh, element one okay for element one this is for two this is for three now we'll write k1 so k1 is equal to k1 is equal to it is 100 minus 100 so minus 100 100 it means k1 minus k1 minus k1 k1 this is the element 1 now similarly for element 2 we will write k2 same as 200 minus 200 minus 200 200 okay and here k3 is equal to k3 is equal to also same uh, value is 100 so k1 k3 is same okay k1 k3 is same because both are values are 100 only the displacement it will be changes for example here the displacement it will be better you write once again the value of k3 
displacement because of displacement you have to make it so here the displacement will be u1 u2 as you can see in the so what is the displacement here from 1 to 2 it means u1 u2 here in vertically also you write down u1 u2 for k2 2 to 3 okay it means u2 u3 u2 u3 for element 3 3 to 4 u3 u4 u3 u4 okay and the displacement like u1 and u4 that is 0 that is the one boundary condition better you write down now only u1 u4 is equal to 0 because of it is a fixed element okay now only the global stiffness matrix okay so global stiffness matrix is nothing but assembling of all the stiffness matrix so here first make u1 u2 u3 u4 and column also u1 u2 u3 u4 so u1 u1 so u1 u1 we are getting 100 u1 u2 minus 100 uh, there is no link between u1 and u3 u1 u4 also 0 u2 u1 so u2 u1 is minus 100 u2 u2 so u2 u2 we are getting 100 and one more here 200 u2 u2 so 100 plus 200 we are getting 300 u3 u2 u3 so u2 u3 minus 200 u2 u4 0 so 1 and 3 0 u3 u2 u3 u2 minus 200 u3 u3 that is 200 again u3 u3 100 so it will be again 300 u3 u3 right yeah u3 u4 u3 u4 minus 100 so here 0 u4 u1 u4 u2 also 0 u4 u3 u4 u3 minus 100 u4 u4 that is 100 see now you can see the diagonal of all the values it should be positive okay so the diagonal of the stiffness matrix should be positive all values are positive and it should be symmetric you can check okay from the diagonal that should be symmetric so this is k now what is the finite element equation hmm? finite element equation will be k u is equal to f right so this become an k now global stiffness now there will be displacement matrix u1 u2 u3 u4 okay is equal to force factor force like f1 f2 f3 f4 there are four forces at each node okay so here the boundary conditions like u1 and u4 it will be zero so i will make u1 as 0 and u4 also 0 both it become 0 ok and their forces we applied the force at node 3 as I told you the force is at node 3 ok so that is 500 Newton so we will substitute the body contents 1 u4 is 0 that we already made it and u3 it becomes 500 newton okay here is newton and here this stiffness matrix unit also newton per millimeter and displacement we should be in millimeter force should be newton okay so it means their first row this first row and this first column are getting eliminated because of this displacement is zero and the last one also fourth row and the fourth columns 
is eliminated. So what is the remaining here? This become remaining in the matrix. So we'll write now. Three hundred minus two hundred. So minus two hundred. So three hundred. Okay. So displacements are u two, u three. And what is the force here? F two. So there is no force at node two. That will be zero. And no force at three is five hundred. So this becomes an equation now. Using your um, basic multiplication, you can just uh, make the equation like 300 into u2, 300 u2 minus 200 u3 is equal to zero. Okay. And second equation will be minus 200 u2 plus 300 u3 that is is equal to 500. So it becomes an Two into two matrix. Now, using the calculator, you can directly substitute these two unknown values, so that you are getting u two and u three. Okay, so go to the equation. I am doing in the calculator directly. There will be equation one. Unknowns are two. Uh, yeah, a one value is three hundred, and it b one value is minus two hundred. C one is zero. Now second row minus two hundred plus three hundred, then five hundred. So x value is two. So I got the x value as two. It means u two. Okay, u two is two, so it should be millimeter. Okay, and we'll enter one more y three. It means u three as three millimeter. Okay, so by this general method, like this, we can calculate the unknown displacement. Okay. and in uh, again they may ask you for calculating the reaction forces sometimes or they may be ask you to calculate the uh, element stresses strains okay so just follow the method how to calculate the reaction forces in the next video thank you